I'm getting ready to travel a lot this year and I want to keep growing and making videos even when I'm away. Spider Farmer kindly sent me their gravity fed self-watering system kit that can support my four autos when I'm away. The kit comes with five five gallon grow bags. Fifty liter folding bucket. Shut off valve box. Four self watering bases and a silicone tube. Today I want to report that little clone in the back, so I will only assemble one base. But for vacation I will need to assemble all four. The good thing it's easier done than said. I assemble biggest parts first. Bucket stands on five legs that are installed into the passes on the side. The legs support 13 gallon or 50 liter waterproof fabric bucket. 50 is a lot of liters, which is exactly what my plants need. During summers, fabric pots lose a lot of moisture through sides but this system will keep them going from the bottom. Speaking of bottoms, on the bottom of the bucket is a hole for the valve. The filter goes inside of the bucket and so is one of the rubber seals for extra precaution against leaks. And all that is left to screw them back together tightly. On the top of the bucket, remember to connect the overflow spout. The bucket even has a zipper, so you just can close it and protect it from light and dust. It is time to drop the base. I know it's lame joke, but this is where self-watering part comes into play. Self-watering base is yet another water reservoir that I put my plants on. To support the weight, remember to put brackets in the middle. Water from the base will be pulled through the wicks into the pot like it's a magic trick. Self-watering pots work the best once the roots are well developed, but I wouldn't leave a plant in a seedling stage for a long time anyways. There are 12 holes on the top of the base and you can put wicks as you wish. You can even put 6 wicks if your plant is really thirsty. The more wicks, the more water can be transferred through the pot and soil and reach roots. The last piece that will stop the base from overfilling is shut-off valve box. Gravity system works best when all tubing and the valve are flat on the ground. This valve will shut off water supply when the bases are full. And when the water is absorbed by the plant through the wicks, the valve will open again and let fresh water in. It is important to configure how many bases you're going to use, where they're going to be inside of the tent, and if the bucket with water is going to be in or outside of your tent. Measure and cut the amount of tubing that fits your plan count, your distance and your placement of the bucket. The tube connects the bucket with a valve box and the box with a base. By the way, there are more rubber seals that fit very snug. 
the 5 gallon fabric pot is a little bit too big for this little clone that I'm giving away. I will turn the pot sides inside out to the level where I'm sure the roots will touch the bottom of the pot. Some fresh leftover soil. And this little clone is now independent from me and can drink at her own pace and comfort. No electricity is needed. Simple solution. Psst, go to Spider Farm website right now. If you use discount code ProScience, you'll get 8% off. Links are in the description.